Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So after sharing my favorite planner layouts that I've done for 2019, I had an amazing suggestion to share my least favorite layouts for 2019. So I'm gonna share with you a few layouts that I don't like and explain a little bit why I don't like them. So my first layout is the February monthly. I really did not like how I decorated the sidebar with these floral stickers. And I tried to do the sidebar similar to what I did in January, which I really loved, but it just didn't flow right between the flowers and the boxes that I used. These stickers are beautiful, but just the placement of the flowers just really didn't lend itself to being totally functional for the month. Next up, we have this weekly layout that I did in February. And when I look at this, it is just so busy. I filled every single section. I just have a straight line of stickers here and I have clumps of stickers that take up so much space. So I basically was just planning in a squished box and I wasn't really a fan of planning this way because everything was just so smushed together and there was really no flow between each day. Next up we have this week, which is a combination of just like the last layout I did where I just have a huge chunk of stickers here, but I also really wasn't a huge fan of the colors in this layout. And between where I place the stickers and where I actually have space to write, it just did not flow well, kind of like my other layout where I feel like over the last couple months, I've found a better way to balance stickers and room to write. This layout is also just, it feels like a hot mess when I look at it. The starfish stickers that I used for to-do list bullet points are just too big for this layout. And I just wasn't really a huge fan when I look at this. I don't really see, like, I can't easily pick out where my to-dos are, where important events are. It's just kind of all over the place. So after that planner, I switched over for the summer into Coastal Vibes. So there is one layout in here that I wanted to share and that was the one that I did that was pink lemonade inspired. I think it was mostly the colors that I wasn't a fan of in this layout, but as you can see here is where I just kind of lose interest in using my planner when I'm not a fan of the layout. So like I did not use my planner at all on Tuesday and I just made like a little note joke in here. But you can see like on the right page Friday through the weekend, I didn't really plan at all. And you'll see that theme popping up here in the next few layouts that I share of I just cannot use a layout that I don't enjoy. Are you like that? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have a planner layout that you just are not a fan of, do you have trouble filling it out for the week? So now we're moving into my bullet journal layouts and this layout was gorgeous and it is still one of my favorites that I've ever made. I just really was not a fan of filling this in. I tried to do my take on the dashboard layout where I just have weekly things on the left page and then day of the week specific things on the right page and there's just no structure here to these days. And I think that was where I kind of ran into a little bit of trouble on how to fill this layout in. And dashboard, just I try and try and try to use the dashboard layout and it just does not work for me. This layout I'll just share because I started to make this layout and then I just stopped. I just, I lost where I was going with this. So I was trying a different take on, again, the dashboard layout. So I had my week at a glance here and then I was gonna do day specific things in the remaining space, but that just didn't happen. Next up we have a, get this, another dashboard style layout. You think I would learn after like three times that this layout just does not work well for me, but I keep trying because I love the idea of having my week to do's and then separated from day specific things on the other page. But I just, I mean, let's be real. Look at the left page. I am not a busy enough person to fill out this entire page with things to do. And yet here it is. Like, look, I filled out three bullet points. So, you know, someday I'll learn, but maybe the mini dashboard is the way I should be going with this. 
Next up, we have this layout right here. I, first of all, I love these stickers. And my problem is I just have so many stickers here. Like when I look at this, all I see are the stickers. And I did not really leave myself a whole lot of space for the days of the week planning. And this actually was a semi busy week. And I ended up just planning this week on a note piece of paper instead. And looking back, I really should have either done the plants on the shelf or the hanging plants, not both. <laughs> so I have this layout. I never even used it because I didn't feel like I had enough space to write. So that is it. That is my least favorite layouts of 2019. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed seeing the layouts that I didn't enjoy that I made this year. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my planner videos. And I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye guys!